Hey everyone, TechnoVenture with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to factory reset your iPhone 6S or any of the 6S lineup. Now, this method is on the latest version for the phone itself, so let's get started. Now, in order to factory reset your phone, first thing you do want to consider if you want to keep a backup copy of your data like photos, videos, apps, you need to back it up. In order to back it up, you can do it by iCloud by going to your setting, click on your Apple ID account here. Click on iCloud and then there's an option for iCloud backup. Make sure it is turned on and then you click on backup now. And usually you want to back it up when you're connected to Wi-Fi so it can successfully back up all of your data because once we factory reset it, it will no longer be recoverable. Now another thing you can also do is if you don't want to do iCloud backup, you can also back it up on your computer using iTunes or a newer MacBook on the Finder app. But once you're ready to go ahead and you're backed it up or you don't want any of your data on your iCloud, you can go ahead into your setting, then go to general, and then go down here where it says transfer reset iPhone, click on that. And then what you will do is click on erase all content and settings. So you can hit on that here. And then what's going to be erased here, as you can see, it's going to erase your apps and data. Your Apple ID account will be removed and any activation lock that you have will be removed so that it's unlinked from your iCloud account. So hit continue here and it'll try to do a backup if you didn't or you can skip the backup but again highly recommend you back it up in one way or another and then you're going to be prompted to enter your Apple ID password so I'm going to go ahead and enter my Apple ID password now. Once you enter your Apple ID password simply click on turn off here and then hit enter here if you didn't and then this message will pop up like that where it says do you want to race remember when you erase it it's going to factory reset it so we're going to hit that and this cannot be undone that's why we mentioned backing up as one of the important step before you consider doing a factory reset now this process generally takes about a few minutes depending on how much data you have if you have a lot of photos videos apps it might take a little bit longer but during this process you want to see it through until it gets to the main screen when you initially set up a phone which I'm going to show you in real time after this completes here just so you can see what a successful factory reset looks like and once you do a factory reset you can go ahead and sell trade or give away your iPhone without having to worry that your data is going to be on the phone because it will completely wipe all of that out so as you can see here it's still going through a process which is to totally normal you may see the Apple logo appear a few times again nothing to worry just let it do its thing here this is in real time so you can see it but if you want to skip forward ahead to see what it looks like when it's complete you can do that as well and while you're waiting if you haven't hit the like and subscribe button do consider hitting that like and subscribe button as we do more tips tricks troubleshooting and giveaways on our channel so we'll go ahead and wait here for this to complete and one thing I also recommend is make sure your phone has enough charge if it dies during the process it will not be successful so I recommend at least having 50% or more charge when you're doing this or just simply have it connected to a charger as it's doing the factory reset. That way the phone doesn't unexpectedly shut down during this process. So we'll go ahead and wait. And along with that is if you also want to sell giveaway trade in, you might also consider removing the SIM card from here if you have a physical SIM card just put it uh, use a paper clip or the same ejector tool and that will pop up the sim tray and if you don't know how to do that check out other video on how to remove the sim tray which is again really easy to do but we're gonna wait here for it to complete so as you can see it's still going strong here which is fine sometimes it looks like it's slow but then all of a sudden it'll automatically finish which again is normal All right, it looks like we're almost there. Hopefully, it, the menu loading went away. So let's see what we have. Finally, as you can see, once you see that hello screen come up and you click a home button and it's asking you to set up a language, that means you have successfully factory reset your iPhone success and you're good to go to sell, give, or trade away in your device. And I hope this video was helpful. If so please continue to like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.